Human monkeypox infection is a viral zoonotic disease with symptoms similar to those seen in past smallpox patients. However, monkeypox infection is clinically less severe than smallpox, and the mortality rates are also quite low. Human monkeypox was first identified in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of Congo in a nine-month-old boy. Since then, the disease was limited to the rainforests of Central and Western Africa until the first outbreak was emerged in 2003 in the United States of America and was linked to contact with infected pet prairie dogs. Over 70 cases were reported during this outbreak. In 2018, several cases of monkeypox infection were reported among travelers who traveled to Nigeria and subsequently, a few cases were reported among several nations until the recent outbreak was emerged in 2022. On July 23 of 2022, the World Health Organization declared monkeypox a global health emergency. Up to that point, over 16,000 cases of monkeypox infection have been reported, involving more than 70 countries and territories. A total of five deaths were reported in Africa during this outbreak. However, no deaths have been reported outside Africa so far. Human monkeypox virus is an enveloped, double-stranded DNA virus that belongs to the genus of orthopox viruses. Other members in this genus include cowpox, smallpox, and vaccinia. The infection was first seen in laboratory monkeys way back in 1958, hence the name monkeypox. Primary transmission of the disease results from direct contact with infected animals, such as domestic pigs, rats, squirrels, rabbits, monkeys, and porcupines. In addition, ingestion of inadequately cooked flesh of these animals have also been found to cause the disease in some individuals. Secondary or human-to-human -human transmission is common among males who have sex with males. However, it is not considered a sexually transmitted infection. Main methods of transmission include respiratory droplets, direct skin-to-skin -skin contact, and through formites. The virus has an incubation period of 6 to 13 days. The initial symptoms are nonspecific, with a majority of individuals experiencing fever. Other symptoms may include the following. Intense headache, myalgia, back pain, intense asthenia, and lymphadenopathy. It is important to know that lymphadenopathy is not seen with smallpox or chickenpox, which is the most reliable clinical sign to differentiate monkeypox from those two diseases. Commonly involved ones include cervical, submandibular, submental, and inguinal lymph nodes. Skin eruptions appear in one to three days following the beginning of fever and are more concentrated in face and extremities than in the trunk. In addition, oral mucous membrane, genitalia, conjunctiva, and cornea may also be affected. The rash progresses sequentially from macules to papules and then into vesicles, which are filled with clear fluid, and ultimately into pustules, which are filled with a yellow fluid inside. Pustules can become crusts, which dry up and fall off later. Monkeypox is usually a self-limiting disease, with symptoms lasting for two to four weeks. More severe cases are commonly seen among children and are frequently associated with poor nutrition, immunodeficiencies, and other comorbid conditions. In addition, people who have been vaccinated against smallpox in the past have a better prognosis compared to others. Major complications of monkeypox infection include the following. Secondary infections. Bronchopneumonia. Encephalitis. Sepsis. And loss of vision. Finally, let's talk about the treatment. As already mentioned, monkeypox is usually a self-limiting disease, with symptoms lasting for maximum of four weeks. Bed rest along with supportive care, including plenty of fluids and adequate nutrition, are important in the management. However, more severe cases may require hospitalization. The antiviral agent Tecavirimat has been licensed for monkeypox infection. However, it is not widely available in the market.